F someone says arc welding is bad, it must be a beginner. Take this corner weld operation as an example. Let's think about how to do it. Experienced welders all know that corner welding really burns up clothes. It's very hot. Let's take a closer look at this corner weld. See it? This welding method. How do we actually do it? The master may not want to teach you. So let me show you. Let's think carefully about the key points in corner welding. For this method, we usually use E7010 or 501 welding rods. Many beginners struggle with corner welding. Here are the main reasons why. 1. Travel speed too slow. If you move too slowly, it causes sagging. 2. Wrong welding angle. Incorrect angles also lead to sagging. 3. Arc length too long. If you drag the arc too far back, the temperature gets too high and causes sagging. Now, here's how to weld properly. Angle. About 15 degrees to the side, 80 degrees downward tilt. Welding method. Start from the front, drag with a slight weave or straight line motion. Both straight line travel or diagonal weave methods work. Next, let's look at high-profile molten pool handling. This is called the double-sided method. When welding like this, don't keep the arc pool too small. Use a diagonal weave technique. Don't raise the rod too high at the back. If it's too high, temperature builds up and sagging happens. Instead, use diagonal weave to push and hold the weld properly. Now, let's break open a sample and check the weld form. This is the double-sided method. The finished weld shows even and uniform width. The technique is diagonal weave, pausing on the top and then on the bottom, back and forth. That's how you get consistent weld formation. If you learn something, give it a free like. Thanks for your support, Weldmaster India. Every day, I'll share welding tips and tricks that you can subscribe Weldmaster India for more information about welding. And remember, 